link down below as always. Title update 18, available for PC, Origin, and Steam, along with Stadia. Again, for consoles, that'll come shortly. FIFA Ultimate Team made the following changes. The captain can now edit their own squad when selecting their name from the co-op lobby. Badge ball and kit rarities can be cycled through on the rarity tile when searching for club items in my stadium. Address the following issues. A thin outline glow did not display correctly on preview packs, removed an unintended visual effect, which could briefly display when highlighting an unopened or unpreviewed pack. When previewing a pack, a placeholder kit graphic displayed on the player items when cycling through views. And when getting promoted to a division a player had previously achieved in division rivals, the first time division promotion reward screen would unintentionally display and correctly show zero coins earned. First time division promotion rewards can only be earned the first time a new division is reached. A placeholder graphic could display when obtaining a pack from the foot store. The co-op button callout could disappear and become inaccessible after using the compare price function on the market transfer. If you don't like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll make sure your lady friend, when she gets with your best friend, she does a little uh, comparison, and then your thing becomes inaccessible because she's moved on. That made no sense, but that's okay. The co-op lobby could display an incorrect kit in some instances. A timer incorrectly displayed on the event screen when there was no active event. PC Stadia only. Selecting a specific item rarity on the transfer market or in my stadium was not possible with a mouse. It's now possible with a rat. Stadia only. A potential stability issue could occur in the foot store. Career mode. Made the following changes when scrolling player lists in the transfer hub and squad hub. The list will wrap around when pressing up while highlighting the first player, and when pressing down while highlighting the last player. Adjusted variety of youth scouting results when scouting Netherlands. Addressed the following issues, that there was no trophy presentation and prize money available when winning the Polish League. In player career, glove customization did not always apply correctly. Michael Jackson would not have been happy with that. Volta Football. Address the following issues. A portion of the UI did not display correctly when selecting the last substitute in my squad. David Beckham's name did not always display correctly during a match. General Audio and Visual made the following changes. Updated the EA Sports sequence scene when launching the game, as well as updated some stadium flags, kits, team names, and badges. Stadia only updated the controller graphic when viewing a match through the Champions Channel and added a parental controls button callout to the main FIFA Playtime menu. Address the following issues again. In some instances, the Soccer Aid World 11 FC could have been used in online seasons. And that is pretty much it for these patch notes. As always, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. We already know what's going to happen to you. And I will be sure to update the title and the thumbnail when this gets moved on over as well on all platforms. PS4, PS5, nobody cares about the Xbox. But when it comes to it, I'll make sure to make those uh, changes if I remember. That's enough of that. If you want to subscribe, great. If not, whatever. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Perhaps I shall see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.